everybody. I hope that you're having a wonderful week so far. I have a treat for you today. One of the most amazing women of God that I have had the pleasure of meeting has done a guest post for me this week on a subject that's close to my heart. It's about courage, having courage as women, in fact. And I love this. I love this writer. Her name is Latan Roland Murphy. And this is her lovely book. Can you see it? It's called Courageous Women of the Bible. Isn't that beautiful? She goes into personally why it's important for us to gather from God, from our faith, daily courage. How many of you have lacked courage or felt weak or had your security shaken? Me. Um, and this is a wonderful subject for us as women for Christians, for everyone in our culture today. There are so many things around us that threaten to steal our security and cause us to be afraid and stressed. There's so much anxiety. More than ever before, statistics show that people are more anxious in the past year than they have been in years past. That's what statistics are showing, that more people are showing an increase in their stress and anxiety. And that was something in one of my blog posts that I did recently. And this is confirming that we have only one place to turn to actually find true strength and to get our courage on. And this is a wonderful story. I love her post. It's at tinayeager.com if you want to read it. I'll leave the link in the comments. But I just, I love how she's got in this blog post. One of my favorite lines in here is that all heaven is fighting for you. Have you ever stopped to think about that? That, that in the midst of our times where we feel shaken, while we are afraid, we have armies in the heavens fighting on behalf of us and we don't even see it if only we could just remember that 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 god is holding us in his arms and that all of heaven is fighting for us whether we see what he's doing whether we understand what he's doing whether we experience the fullness of the good results of what he's doing right now or not if we're in this awaiting time or if we are in a time when we're seeing things go wrong, sometimes it's hard to have courage and we instead succumb to fear. But I love that Latan is taking on this topic of learning to hold tight to faith and building our courage on the things that we can't see, not just on the things that we do see. And I was talking about this today. Is, you know, if we think about the people who showed courage in the Bible, they didn't show courage when everything was good. They showed courage in their faith when things were going wrong for them. Like the Apostle Paul, who had just been flogged, which is no minor thing to have happen to you. I mean, the skin is stripped off of his back, and he's in this primeval prison area, and possibly populated with rats that are circling around him looking for a meal while he's bleeding. And what is he doing? Is he complaining or griping? Like, I would certainly probably be complaining and griping in that situation. No, he's singing hymns to praise God because he's resting in what he knows by his faith, not by how he feels, not by what he's experiencing, but what he knows God is capable of in the future, in this life or the next. Whenever God is going to come through, God is going to be victorious. And he will gl be glorified in the situation one way or another, whether it's to our good or just to the overall good of the people of God. And he's going to come through. And, and Paul knows this. He doesn't know what's going to happen, but he trusts that God is good. Hey, Andy, so good to see you. And so I love that, that Latan is talking about the women of the Bible and their times of courage. She highlights 11 women and talks about things like what's in your hand, using the things that are that are with you in God to battle the courage, to grab the courage that we need to get through where we are, to where God has got planned for us in the near future, something we can't see. And that's when we have an opportunity to choose faith and choose courage. Not in the times that are too good, because you don't need courage for that. You need it in the times when you don't know what is going to happen when you can't see how things could possibly work out when everything looks like it's coming against you 
those are the times when God alone can give us the courage to move forward. So I encourage you uh, to listen to Latan's encouragement in her book, Courageous Women of the Bible. And if you'd like to check out her guest post, she speaks in this guest post as if she's talking to you across the table over a cup of coffee. And I love that about her. And I love that about her writing. And I have some other wonderful friends who write about women of the Bible, like Andy Lee, who's visiting here today. She also is one of my favorite people and writers about women in the Bible. So check her out too. And I will leave links for both of them. And I hope that you have a blessed and courageous week and that you're willing to just grab hold of your faith and look into this book and the women that are cited there and take time to just rely on who is with you, not what is happening around you, because the who is bigger than the what. Have a wonderful blessed week and take courage. Be encouraged as always. Bye-bye.